I'm Maddie Glab sitting down with true sophomore Micah Abernathy, also known as the SEC Defensive Player of the Week. Micah, you had eight tackles, one TFL in the first game. In the second game, you go ahead and have three fumble recoveries. How hype were you after that third fumble recovery? You get up and you get to celebrate with your teammates. Yeah, it was, uh, it was really <laughs> surreal. I was surprised that I got three of them, let alone two, but I was just happy that I could make the play for my team. That's the third fumble recovery tonight by Micah Abernathy, a new school record. Nobody's ever done that in Tennessee history. You played on special teams last year. Has it just been really waiting for the opportunity to start this season? Yeah, I've definitely been waiting. I worked really hard in the offseason to gain weight, with the position move to safety, um, to get my footwork right, and I've been waiting for the season to come around. What's been the biggest change moving from nickel to safety that you've had to really work on? Well, with safety, everything's in front of you, so you have to have very good vision. And with nickel, you're playing a lot of man-to-man, -man, you're looking at the line of scrimmage a lot, but at safety, you just have to, you have to see a lot. Favorite cover to play on defense? Definitely man-to-man. -man. I, I, I like the man-to-man. -man. It's simple and easy. You got one guy and take him. Who's your biggest cheerleader on the field? My biggest cheerleader is my mom. She, she's definitely my biggest cheerleader. I can hear her from the stands sometimes. And when I used to run track, she would like make this noise where I would be all the way across the track and I could hear her. What's it like? It's like a, it's like a who or something like that. I don't know. She, I can't do it. No, I've never met anybody that can do it. But they know it's her when she does it. All right, your grandfather was huge in the civil rights movement, really close to Martin Luther King. Your dad was a senator. Why is it so special to rep the last name Abernathy on the platform of sport? Well, a lot of things come with the last name Abernathy that I've learned throughout my entire life. I learned from a young age that this name isn't just some random name, it's something that means something. So, um, just from growing up, my parents instilled in me just values that I live by, and just I'm trying to bring that to football and show what I am. Is there one value that, that your family has really taught you that, that you like to carry on in your everyday life? My character, definitely. Um, that's something that my parents have definitely stressed in me and my siblings' lives, and I try to bring that to my daily life. Awesome. Thanks for sitting down with us, Micah. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you.